Okay, if there were no police officers, were you, were you going to commit a crime? If there were no prisons, were you still going to be as loyal as you are to the laws? So if you don't break the law because of a police officer, which means the police officer is actually motivating you and the prison is motivating you to keep the law. And yet loving God, you should come to a place where you can say, I was never going to steal anything from anybody. Although they are going to bring down all the prisons and fire every police officer, I'm still going to remain as loyal as I was before. That's genuine love for God. Don't be afraid of hell to that extent. Hell. Heaven. Redemption. Salvation. Saved. Death. Everlasting life. Let's try to put these things into order. Are you here to get information? Yes. Now, I want to take you to something which is understood by most theologians as the gap theory. The gap theory or the pre-Adamic world. I don't want to call it race as yet. I'm going to be working on the old covenant and the new covenant, right? And the new covenant before the old and the old covenant and the new covenant after the old covenant. But we want to go back first. We need to see what was happening. Why then did Jesus come? What was the situation? Were there no any other alternatives? Why was the blood preferred right from the beginning? The blood. Let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. And verse number 2. I want you to read this loud and clear. I want to go. Mm-hmm. Verse 2. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, you see, verse number 2. And the earth was without form. You underline form. And void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Right? So I'm going to talk about what was happening before Adam came. What were the activities? What was taking place there before Adam? Right? Okay. The moment we begin to talk about these matters, when you are not a scholar and you are not a disciple, this is where you find it difficult now. <laughs> yeah, this is where people then tell you, no, 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 oh, this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense as long as you are born again. You see, this is why we should be called Christian disciples or disciples Christians. <laughs> And most people, they prefer quoting a scripture in Deuteronomy, which says, the hidden things belong to God. And that is if the thing, those things are hidden, really. Some of those things are not hidden. It's just that we are ignorant. We are ignorant. What was happening? What are we being saved from? Okay, the book of Genesis chapter 1, you, you look at it, you notice that there is the first verse that you see in the beginning God created the heavens or the heaven and the earth and you see scientists 
going up and down trying to come up with some some <laughs> unbelievable theories which are, which are even more sophisticated than what is written there it's as simple as, as it is in the beginning god created he created <laughs> the earth was created there is nothing like a big, big bang theory. The earth came from... Ah, no, 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 no. God created. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. But if, then if you look at verse number two, you notice that there is something there. And the earth was without form. Why is it without form? If you go back at your own time, you look at the word was there. The earth was. It's actually became. That word in Hebrew. The earth became formless. The earth became formless. We have to understand the earth. This is where we are. Hmm? We have to understand it. What is happening? It, the earth was without form. Look at the book of Isaiah chapter number 45, verse 18. For thus saith the Lord that created the what? God himself that formed the what? The earth and made it. God himself who did what? Formed. What? Formed. God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited I am the Lord and there is none else God it is God who formed it which means it was in good form when God created the earth he formed it in such a way that it can be inhabited but in verse number two we can see that now the earth was without form which means that word was, it actually became formless. Are we together? So you can see verse number one and verse number two, that something happened there. We could be having thousands of years. Just between verse one and verse number two.